you wearing? What, what am, am I, I wearing? wearing? Play Day with a Firefighter, brought to you by Lego City. Please, somebody help! My science lab is on fire! The Lego City Fire Command Unit to the rescue! Please save my experiment! Don't worry, this does not look like a hard fire to put out. Oh no! It's spreading! No, it's falling apart! No, 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 no! This escalated quickly. What would a real firefighter do in this situation? You know what? Let's ask one. Firefighter Marcus! Firefighter Marcus! Zion, Hannah, hey. <laughs> what are you up to today? Is that a real life fire truck? <laughs> this engine just passed inspection. I'm over here now sending down the ladder. Whoa! There's the fire engine's hydrant intake. Oh, and that's the water pressure gauge. Wow, you guys really know a lot about firefighting. Sure do. Well, let's see how much you two really know with a little trivia. What do you say? Trivia challenge! Go, go, three, two, two, and <laughs> Okay, first question. We're ready. Who knows what this is? Oh, that's, that's a, smoke a smoke detector. detector. Right. Add our point to the scoreboard. How often should you check that the smoke detectors in your home are in good working order? Once a week, once a month, or once a year? I feel like once a week is too short. I want to say a month. I'm ready yeah. locking in once a month. That's correct. <laughs> Smoke detectors in your home should be checked once a month and batteries replaced twice a year. Hello, we are just doing a check to make sure that your smoke detectors are in working order. <laughs> Top floor smoke detectors, batteries do need to be replaced. Well, my next question, I want to show you something you might find interesting. Oh, that's an old school fire engine. This engine is from 1926. It's one of the first motorized fire engines. Before this, Firefighters used to use horses to pull fire carriages. That's so cool. This is cool. Firefighting has a long and sometimes weird history. Do you know how firefighters used to protect themselves from inhaling smoke back in the early days of firefighting? Did they use old newspaper, a sock, or a wet beard? I don't think every single firefighter is going to grow <laughs> wet beard. I feel like newspapers, it's not very effective. Keep thinking, keep thinking. Also, it, it can catch on fire. I guess a sock can catch on fire too, but it has some form of like ventilation. Okay, that's interesting logic. It could be someone's old stinky sock. <coughs> stinky Joe socks. Ew. <laughs> well, I guess we're going socks. Socks. Close. You can keep those socks on, Zayn. <laughs> Actually, there are stories about firefighters with long beards who would wet their whiskers, put them between their teeth as air filters. Oh, <laughs> that sounds disgusting. <laughs> you probably got leftover spaghetti. Boy, I, can, I can't. <laughs> We've come a long way since those days. Let me show you. My firefighter gear is an amazing example of today's firefighting technology. It's made from special materials that can withstand high temperature. What is the hottest temperature my gear can handle? 500 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, or over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit? Well, I know it's not 500. I want to say it's 2,000 plus, because that would be a reasonable amount. What do you say? I think I, it's 1,000. No, one that's thousand, too little. 1,000 seems reasonable. I say it's 2,000 plus. Mm, I think it's 1,000. My gear can function in up to 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to melt some metal. <laughs> oh my gosh. I told you. OK, speed round. How fast are firefighters required to get into their gear? Two minutes, five minutes, or 30 minutes? OK, it's not 30 minutes. Being here in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's two minutes. Let's give it a big shot. Let's go, go. two minutes. Two Come minutes. on. That's right. Yeah. When the alarm goes off, we need to get ready quick, which means fully suited up and ready to go in two minutes or less. Like this. Whoa. I can, like, barely get my shoes on that fast in the morning. Here we go. What do you think? It takes me, like, an hour to get dressed. <laughs> All right, yeah, Lego City firefighters look ready for action. Congratulations, us. Give us a good pat on yep. the back. Who's the guy with the chef's hat? That's an idea my sister and I come up with. Yeah, here, let me paint you a picture, okay, Firefighter Marcus? You and your team are responding to a fire rescue. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're working hard and putting out fires all over Lego City. Okay. Afterwards, you're starving. So, what do you do? Pizza party! <laughs> Firefighter Pizza Chefs makes everyone pizzas. Firefighter Pizza Chef? Great idea. I only see one problem, though. How can you make pizzas while wearing this? Yeah, that 
may require a little bit more research and development. Or a challenge between a competitive brother and sister. You're on. <laughs> Firefighter Marcus, can we borrow some gear? Wait, what? these are heavy. You're sweating a waterfall. <laughs> wow, you guys look impressive. So here's the thing. A good pizza chef firefighter has to be quick. So let's see if you two can make a pizza in less time than it took me to suit up. Two minutes to make this pizza. Ready? Look oh, at all these toppings. Look at all these options. I'm not a decisive Woo! person. Go. Go, 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 go. Okay, okay. Go. Get the sauce. Get the sauce. Get the sauce. sauce. Get the cheese. Put cheese on there. Cheese. Go, go, go. Okay, cheese. Got it. Okay. Pizza. We're making salad pizza. Pickles. Yes. We're putting pickles in our pizza. Pickles on a pizza. We might have something there. Nope. We're not putting raspberries on that pizza. This is good. Okay, okay, time's almost up. We're almost out of time. Come on, come on, add final touches. Arugula, arugula, yeah. peppers. Come Four, on, get it on three, there. Yeah, two, cover up all that cheese. One. Okay, time's up. No, that was so, so, so hard. Fast. Let's see what you guys made. It smells. Right now I'm getting a mixture of fish and pineapple. I hope that pizza tastes better than it looks. Nice. I think you may have something with this pizza party idea. I'd call this experiment a success. <laughs> experiment! <laughs> the science lab! Oh. The reason we wanted to talk to you is because we needed help putting out the fire from Lego City. We're suited up. Let's go to the rescue. Science labs often have chemicals and combustibles that water won't work on. First, deploy the robot to lay down some fire suppressing foam. Fire suppressing foam! Come on, get it, get it, get it! Then use that cherry picker to get up high and spray firefighting foam down from above. If you spray from the side, it may spread the fire. Spray. Oh, that's one. One flame down. Keep going. I need that some help. Done. I need some backup. Nice. You're almost there. One more flame to go. Come here, come here, come here. There we go. Oh, and we did it. Yeah, we did it. Nice work. You two could be great firefighters one day. <laughs> oh. That siren means I've got to go. Stay safe, guys. Good luck. Bye, Firefighter Marcus. Well, you saved the day. Thinking what I'm thinking. Come on, I've really been craving some pizza this entire day. <laughs> Play Day with a Firefighter, brought to you by Lego City.